welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my most anticipated releases for the second half of 2013. Can't believe that the year's half over already, but as some of you guys may know, I already made a video like this back in January talking about the books I'm looking forward to this year, but since I started the booktube community, I've discovered so many other books and series that I really love that I want to tell you guys about. So yeah, these are the books that I'm most looking forward to. I think they're all marked on my calendar. I think the majority of these come out in the fall. There are so many books coming out in the fall. So excited. So let's get started. I'm going to start I think there's like 11, so we're going to go from 11 to number one. And as the we go higher up the list, it's just going to be me gushing. I apologize in advance. And I'm going to hold up basically like the first book in the series if you want to go check it out or know what it looks like. Or if it's not a series, then whatever. But the number 11 book on my list is The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks, which comes out September 17th. I am a huge Nicholas Sparks fan, I'm not going to lie. I have read all of his books. And I know that some a lot of people have mixed feelings about him, and I think it all depends on which book you read. This one is supposed to be kind of like The Notebook, going back to some of his earlier books and styles of writing, so I am very excited to see where that goes. Number 10 on my list is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tucholsk. Sorry if I butcher your name. That book comes out on August 15th. I heard about this book back in December when I was browsing Goodreads, and the concept really grasped me. I thought it was really interesting. It's about this girl who basically falls in love with a guy who she thinks is the devil. I mean, I just, I haven't heard anything like that in a, a while. It sounds like a really interesting and unique concept, and I know a bunch of people, it's on a bunch of my friends' TBR lists on Goodreads, so hopefully that's good. That comes out soon. We'll be excited to read that. Number nine on my list is Across the Star Swept Sea by Diana Peterfreund, and that comes out October 15th. That is a second book in that, I'm not sure if it's a series or just a bunch of, like, companion novels, but the first one for Darkness Shows the Stars was a retelling of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and the second book, this one, is a retelling of The Scarlet Pimpernel, which I haven't read, but the first book in the series, the writing was just so gorgeous, and I love the story. It brought me to tears multiple times. Still have to get on Persuasion, but this is such a beautiful series, and if you're looking for some good retellings, I would definitely go check that one out. Number eight on my list is United We Spy by Allie Carter, and that comes out on September 17th. That is part of the Gallagher Girl series. This is the first book I'd tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. I've kind of grown up with this series. I think I started following it when the first and second books were out, and there's going to end up being six books in the series. This was a huge part of my middle school I years. I, th I know a bunch of my friends read it too. And it's about these girls who go to basically a school for spies and it follows their life. And I'm really sad to see this series end because I really like it. Next is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and that comes out December 10th. This is actually probably one of the ones that I'm most anticipated for. I should have moved it up higher on my list, but from what I've heard of it, it's basically like a futuristic sci-fi retelling of Titanic, like the movie. And I've read a bunch of descriptions, and I know a couple of bloggers have gotten themselves art, art copies. So jealous. And they said it was really good, and it's the first book in a series. And I mean, just like sci-fi Titanic. That sounds just amazing. And I'm not a huge sci-fi fan, but I'm open to try anything, and it sounds really good. Next on my list is Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, and this book comes out October 15th. I'm pretty sure. I know they've moved back the release date a couple times, or moved it up closer, which is always good. And that is the second book in the Darkest Mind series. This this series has so much hype behind it, so when I picked it up, I wasn't, well, I was expecting a lot, and I really enjoyed it. Not as much as other people, but it was still a really de decent book, and the first one left off on, like, the biggest cliffhanger ever. Not the biggest, but a huge cliffhanger that left me extremely emotionally damaged. And this is, this series is about it's kind of like a futuristic, like, post-apocalyptic dystopian fantasy. It's a mix of all of them, and it's about these kids that have 
if they live past 10, they develop these special powers and they're put into concentration camps based on their abilities. And this follows Ruby and she escapes from the concentration camp and she meets up with a bunch of other kids with abilities and it follows them. Really excited for this. This is definitely one of my favorite series of this year. Very, very good. Next is probably the book that is n like everyone's number one except for mine. This is number five for me, but it is Allegiant by Veronica Roth, and this comes out October 22nd. This is the first book in the series, Divergent. Everyone is just in love with the Divergent series, especially now since the movie's coming out. There's so much hype around it, and I really like this series. It's a great dystopian read. It's one of my favorite dystopians, and the second book, Insurgent, also left off with a huge cliffhanger, so we need to see what's going to happen and how it's going to end up. We need to see what's going to happen to Foreign Trist, mainly, and then what's going to happen. What do you guys think is going to happen? Because I've seen, like, a bunch of, like, theories and stuff, and they're all, like, really crazy. Number four on my list is The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. It is the Third and final installment in the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series. This is like a creepy as hell series. Oh my god. Because the first book I was expecting something creepy and it was creepy. And then the second one just like blew it out of the water. And it's really like a thinking book. You really have to think and keep up. And even so, at the end of the first book you're so confused and you don't know what's going to happen. And then in the second book... None of those questions get answered. And the second book left off on this huge, awful cliffhanger ending, which everyone seems to be ignoring, which I think is kind of funny, because we all know that what happened isn't true. Wink, wink, fans of the series that you know what I'm talking about, and I apologize for my awkward winking. And I'm not sure of the release date for this book. It was supposed to be October 22nd. Then I saw on Goodreads that it was moved back to, like, next June, which I was really mad about, but now it's changed back to August, October, so I'm not sure. I know the release date was the 22nd, so I'm just going to go with that. The next one is another book that's probably on everyone's number one, and that is House of Hades by Rick Riordan, and that comes out October 8th, which is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series, which is the companion series to Percy Jackson. Do I even need to explain why I'm excited for this one? If you've read this, you know, Mark of Athena! Huge cliffhanger, emotionally damaging in every freaking way possible. I'm not really saying too much about these because I don't want to spoil, but if you've read the book, you know what I mean. Like, holy crap, what is going to happen? And especially since Rick Riordan released that novella and he had the first chapter in there, even that had a cliffhanger. And I follow him on Twitter. He's hilarious, by the way. You should definitely go follow him. And he's writing all these, like, not really spoilers, but kind of like just trying to get everyone all mad and stuff. Oh, so excited for that. Number two on my list. My number one and my number two choices were really, really close. But I, I, ha I had, there is a little bit of a difference. I mean, they're both like some of my favorite series. Number two is Untold by Sarah Rees Brennan, which comes out September 24th. And that is the second book in the Unspoken series. I'm really mad, though, because they changed the cover for the second book, and it's not as pretty. Like, look at this goodness. This is, like, Victorian, creepy, and the new one is just, like, this, like, gothic cover, and I don't like it. I always recommend this series to people because, it, in my opinion, it's really underhyped. Like, no one talks about it. I think on Goodreads, only, like, two people I know have even read it. So... I am just in love with this book. I didn't really know what to expect. I remember I picked it up in Barnes & Noble, and I was, like, hooked from the start. And then I had to wait a couple weeks to actually get it in the mail. And when I did, I loved it so much. And it left me extremely emotionally damaged. I was in a reading slump for a couple days. I was just, like, talk. I was even, like, telling myself I had no idea, like, what was going to happen next. It left off so bad. And the bad slash good thing about this author is... Every month, she will release a new snippet from the book. They are all equally emotionally damaging. Let me tell you. The worst... I'm trying to think of the worst one. There was... Oh, yeah, there was one where... There's a bunch of kissing ones. The first one I think she released with two people kissing. So bad. And the one on Valentine's Day. Even worse. If you're alone on Valentine's Day, that just, like, cemented everything. So bad. So now we get to my number one most anticipated book. 
2013. When this book comes out, I'm like holding myself up in my room. I do not care about school. Do not care about anything else. Do not bother me while reading this because I love it so much. That is Champion by Marie Lu. That comes out November 5th. It is the third and final book in the Legend Trilogy. Sob because it's the last book. But another book that basically ended up with all these, the, just the mother of all cliff. It wasn't really a cliffhanger ending. It was an emotionally damaging ending, but it was the most emotionally damaging. This was even worse than delirium, which I, I did not think was humanly possible. Thank you, Marie Lou. When I first read the first legend book, I was like, oh, action, romance, yeah. And then the second book, just the feels. Everywhere. The last chapter, I was sobbing. No joke. The only thing that brought me out of the unspoken reading slump was this one. And even Prodigy, like, I didn't love it, but the ending, like, God. Let me know down below if you want me to film, like, a theories book of what's going to happen in the next book. Because I heard Marie Lou say that it was the most romantic of the books. Oh, God. Because there's a certain love triangle developing, and I do not like the one member of the love triangle. Everyone else does. Okay, when this book comes out, I apologize in advance, friends of mine, because I'm not going to be sane at all. So, thank you guys for watching. What are some books that you're really excited for that are coming out in the fall this year? There's a ton of good ones. I think this fall season for books is one of the best in a long time. So, sorry that this video is so long. I just needed to fangirl and get this out. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again soon.